Hi everyone, Dennis Foley from Acoustic Fields. Today that we're going to talk about music, sound, and room sound. They're different. And I think people need to understand the difference and the importance the room plays in that equation. Gear, low distortion, high resolution. Gear's come a long way in the last 15 or 20 years since I purchased any. It's uh, speakers come a long way. Um, amplifiers, I, I like Class A stuff, so I, I don't know seems as good as it was when, when I was younger and uh, had Class A amplifiers. Um, seems to be pretty much the same to me in that. Speakers have improved cables dramatically. Um, all kinds of conditioning for power and things like that. So noise, obviously. Noise is the issue. Noise is everywhere. So in our room, we got high distortion. We got lots of noise in our room. And we have low resolution. So you're taking a very high resolution source gear and you're putting it into a very low resolution situation. That paradigm right there should stop and make you think. Okay, because it's a huge impact on what you finally hear. Let's just make it 50-50. Uh, there's all kinds of arguments, this, that, or the other, but for purposes of discussion, let's give 50% to the gear and 50% to the room. Make it simple, okay? 50% room sound, we're only hearing 50% of the gear. So you're only hearing really about half of what you're capable of. So take all those things that you like about a certain song and double them. That's how much you're missing. And that's how much you can get with proper treatment and, and minimizing those distortions. Low frequency energy can't breathe and the mids and highs are smothered with reflections. So you have low frequency pressure, middle and high frequency reflections. It's a nightmare. If you could visually see what goes on in the room between pressure waves and rays of energy, you'd wonder how we hear anything at all. Room owns the speaker and the amplifier energy after it leaves the speaker. People uh, call me and fill out their room forms all the time, and they always, a lot of them make the claim, well, the speaker does this to keep the room from doing that. Okay, here's what you have to realize. Speaker manufacturers can claim a lot of things, but... The minute that energy leaves the speaker, the room owns it. The speaker no longer has any say in it. So you can have all the fanciest processing and digital this, that, or the other in the speaker and in the electronic domain, but when that analog wave leaves the speaker, it's owned by an analog room. And it's full of distortions. It's like all that resolution of the amplifier and speaker are kind of tossed into a swimming pool. And the swimming pool is full of distortions. And you want to keep your head above water, obviously, so you can hear everything. Um, but there's so much distortion that it's an endless battle. It's an endless battle at different frequencies. It's an endless battle at different amplitudes. It's an endless battle below 100 hertz. It's an not so bad above 100, but below it's real hard. So lots of distortions. And then we got to get that direct versus reflected energy. Remember that, I don't know if you're going to be able to see this in frame, but if we have a two-channel rig, you know, it's that direct versus the reflected. It's that balancing act. It's the time signature of the reflections versus the time signature of the direct energy. It's the distances the speakers are apart. It's the distances from the speakers to the listening position. Lots of setup variables in a room. Just by definition, the room creates a certain setup, certain set of setup principles that you have to go by. Because you got room modes, pressure, 
Speaker boundary interference effect. Get the speaker too close to a room wall surface, you got problems. Pressure and reflection problems. Comb filtering, mainly a reflection issue. Edge diffraction from the speaker. You know, all speakers, you want to test this. Just put a piece of foam on the top of your speaker and let it overhang a little bit. You'll hear it. Sometimes it's good, sometimes it's not so good. It will take the bite out of a horn, I'll tell you that, because we do it all the time. The size of the piece matters too, obviously. Surface area coverage, it's the same thing in room. So I guess what I'm trying to say here is you don't know what you're missing until you hear it. And then those two things always happen. You know, it's regret. They didn't do it sooner. And the second is determination. They're never going to let it happen again. Now, when the behavior is that extreme on both ends, regret and determination when you treat your room and hear so much more stuff people constantly say how did how does your room sound when, when we ship them a, a lot of product and they do a lot of their surface areas i always wait a month and then i call and say well how's your room sound and they all say the same thing they go through two three four days solid sometimes of listening to their old music so there's that space between regret and determination, if you will. So don't, don't, if you're fence sitting, it's worth treating the room because you're going to get so much more out of it. Just think all the years you've enjoyed listening to music and now you have an opportunity to really relive all of that music all over again in a new room sound and it's amazing it's like that original excitement when you saw an amplifier a new amplifier Marantz new amplifier or JBL speakers or I'm dating myself here but Macintosh even back then so it's that excitement again it's excitement enough to make you stay three and four and five days and some people do one client neighbor gave him a wellness check because he didn't come out for four days. He didn't even go to work. <laughs> there you go. So if you're fence sitting, take the plunge. Fill out the room form. Let's look at your room. There's things we can do. Can't afford the whole room? We'll do it in phases. It works all the time. So phases are good because you then become involved in the voicing process of the room because you're going to hear what our technology does and then you're going to hear what it doesn't do on surface areas you didn't treat and you're going to immediately go well i want that sound on that wall with the treatment on this wall that doesn't have the treatment you'll become your own engineer believe me the products are that predictable and consistent Music sound and room sound, completely different animals, but unfortunately, they have to work together. Hope this helps. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video, and if you liked it, please give us a thumbs up. We also have a newsletter that you can subscribe to, so please do that because we offer special price discounts to only those on our newsletter. And then don't forget about our forum. We have started a forum on our own website where people ask questions and I usually get a chance every couple days to look at it. There's an interchange between people on the forum and we'll give you real answers uh, on a regular basis. So that'll help you. Thank you.